What's up YouTube fam? Welcome to another video on the channel. We have today two Red Cat Volcano 16s. Now, one of them is the stock one and one of them as you can see already by the tires is something that I have been working on for a little over a year off and on. Um, Red Cat actually offers quite a few uh, hop ups for this RC. So what I wanted to do was to kind of turn the stock one that's brushed into one that is brushless. And I also wanted to use some of their hop ups or pretty much all of their hop ups that they offer for it just to kind of see what it would do, if it would do any different, perform any different. Now, right out the gate, um, you can tell these are different tires. I did go ahead and put um, some Duratrex uh, Banditos, these are 2.2s on here. Um, and the tires, as you can see, are a little bit taller than these, but these are also more like on-road tires. Um, and we are gonna do a speed run on both of these just to give you a comparison. Even though I've done it before on this one, I wanna do it again um, in this video, give you guys a comparison. Actually, that speed run video that I did was because I was planning on doing this project and it just took me a little bit more time than I thought to get to it again. A lot of stuff going on, a whole bunch of different projects. So, um, but now we're here and uh, we're going to take a look at what I've done to make it go from this to this, starting with the suspension in the front here. If you can look, you can kind of tell, look at the stock one here. This here is just spring, there's no oil, it's not oil filled. Very bouncy. These shocks are oil filled. You know, the difference here, shock suspension, this is the stock shocks. It's just no oil, it's not oil filled. These are oil filled in here now, they're also metal threaded. The shafts, the plastic, there's plastic drive shafts front and rear on this RC and now I upgraded it to the metal uh, CVD drive shafts in here. Also, the, the uh, diffs front and rear are plastic in the stock one. Red Cat does offer a metal diff set with metal diff cups. So I upgraded all of that. I changed all the diffs out of here as well. So metal um, diff front and rear in this as well. Whereas the stock one is plastic. Take the top off here, show you some other things that we did here. So in the stock one here, just kind of give you a look. It does have a metal center drive shaft, but it's not the heavy duty one on here. It is changed to a metal heavy duty um, drive shaft. The spur gear is also now a metal spur gear, whereas the stock one is plastic. Um, I'll go over the electronics with you in a moment. I just want to go over the things that Red Cat offers first um, for, for their offering. But wheelie bar, that's extra that you can get on here as well. They do offer metal uh, wheel hexes because I already have some. So it was no need for me to, to order that from Red Cat. But now to kind of go over what else has been done here. So as you can see, the electronics are completely different. This comes as a brushed electronic system with a two in one ESC and a uh, mini little five wire um, servo. What I did was my servo is a Savox servo. Um, micro servo, I think it's uh, SW0250 is the model. Actually, it's right on there. <laughs> yeah, that's the model for it. Um, this servo is actually used for, or is branded for the E-Revo, but it works perfectly fine in here, um, which is great. And then let's talk about the motor and the uh, ESC. So I actually took this motor and ESC out of a car that I had that I never did a review on for the channel. The reason why is because I did the review on the car. Unfortunately, I broke the car in the first run. No problem. 
but when I went to go and review the footage, my footage was corrupted on my GoPro and I actually never got the footage for the first run and the car was already broken. So it just sat for a while. Um, that car is an XLF F118. It was something that I had got off of Banggood. I'll pop a picture up um, so you guys could see it at the time. This was over a year ago. Um, there was a couple of people who were doing reviews on it. I picked one up, like I said, just never ended up fixing it and playing with it again. So it just sat there in pieces. I took the motor out of it and the ESC out of that. And so the motor is a uh, 2847K a can 3000 uh, KV motor brushless. It will run on 2S and 3S. And the ESC is a uh, 45 amp ESC that came with this um, out of that car. So it was a pretty, pretty fast car. Um, that XLF that I had. So I knew that if I could put that in here, this would be, uh, a, I would think it would be a pretty fast car because this is actually lighter and smaller than that RC um, even was. So I have high hopes for this. Let's go ahead, let's get this thing running. We're gonna be running this on the stock battery that it comes with, as well as a 2S battery. Um, we're gonna try to see if there's any difference in speed between that because a battery that this comes with is just a lithium ion battery. So we're gonna see if a 2S LiPo battery changes the speed on this at all. And then we're gonna do a speed run on this on 2S and 3S and see what we get guys. So uh, stay tuned. This one was a pretty cool project that I have been wanting to put together for a while. Finally just got sat down and got it done. So I'm really excited to see what this RC will do as far as a run goes. So stay tuned while I get these things out to the next location and I'll be right back. All right, so we are out here now. We're gonna give these a speed run. This is the one that I built. That's the stock one. We're gonna do the stock one first and uh, get a baseline. And I know I've done a video with the stock one before, but I think it's good just to go ahead and get another quick speed run with it in stock form with the stock battery. I might throw a 2S battery in there too just to see if it can handle it and see what kind of speed we'll get out of that. And then I'm gonna give this a rip on both 2S and 3S and see what kind of speeds we get. So let me go ahead and get the, the original one set up first and I'll be right back. So here we go. We got the stock one out, GPS is set, track, start. All right. Don't need too much space for this. It's not going to go very fast. We are gonna make sure we turn this all the way up. Nobody's coming, here we go. Now I'm running this on the stock lithium ion battery that comes with this. That's it. Stock lithium ion battery, that's it. See what we got. Here we go. Stop. Read. 17. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put a 2S battery in it and see if we get any faster. All right. So 2S battery is in it now. We're gonna go ahead and give this a run. I don't even know if this thing's supposed to be able to handle a 2S battery. We're gonna find out. Oh, this definitely got more pep to it though. It's got more pep on 2S. Not a whole lot, but it seems better than out the gate. Let's see. It definitely reacts a little faster. I don't know if it's any faster, but it's definitely got some more torque. The initial takeoff here. And I guess it can handle 2S, so that's good to know. All right, let's see. Stop, read, 17 again. All right, so that's what we got. We got 17 with the brushed volcano 
the way that it comes out of the box. Not like it's not fun still, but. All right, let's go see what my, my creation can do. All right, so now we've got my creation out. I just kept the same body on there. It don't make no difference, but that body already had that stuck on there. So I figured I'd just use it. Use that body again. So we're gonna give this thing a rip on 2S. Same battery that I was using in the other car, I put into this one. And then we're gonna give this a rip on 3S. I got my straps there because the battery does not fit in there. I'm gonna have to strap it down. But I'll show you guys that when I get to that point. So, all right, anyways, GPS is set. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna predict 25 to start. Let's do this. Let's get this trim. Hey. <laughs> it does wheelies on 2S. Let's get this trim right here. Too much. Yeah, let's bring it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Not bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh that's cool. All right, come on, Ben. <laughs> Never thought you'd see a red cap volcano 16 scale do that before, huh? All right, anyways, stop, read, 22. Oh man, I was hoping for 25. I was hoping it wasn't gonna be too windy out here today, but it's like we gotta freeze out of nowhere, man. It's getting cold and fast around here. So here we go. <laughs> Definitely got torque. If anything, guys, it's got torque. Look at that. Wheelies. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's see, anything different? Stop, read, 23. All right, that's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and put 3S in this thing. <laughs> All right, so quick funny story. <laughs> this is actually a different day. It's not as cold out, at, out here this time. So what happened was is I forgot the little adapter for the battery to plug into my Dean's plug on my ESC. So I ended up having not being able to do that speed run on 3s the other day but we are out here now to do it so we have the gps I'm gonna hit track start so this is a warmer day but we are on 3s give this thing a run I'm gonna say 35. <laughs> oh, it flipped over. 
Oh my goodness, I can get it to tough right, guys. I got it to tough right, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Stop, read. 36, okay. Let's do this again. Start. Battery I'm using doesn't exactly fit in here, so. Had to uh, strap it down. Thing is moving pretty good. Turn this beast around. Give it another run. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen a Red Cat Volcano 16 scale move that quick? <laughs> That's pretty cool, guys. So 37 miles per hour out of, of this is pretty darn cool. I'm not gonna lie. So, and, and I get it, I can get it to do self-writing, which is pretty funny. So, oh man, that's cool. I can adjust the trim on this thing now. I don't have to worry about it going straight. Look at that thing, man. Oh, a little too much there now. <laughs> Come on. That is so cool. What do you guys think? Should I try to see if I can get should I try to see if I can get a uh, 50 out of it at some point? I don't know if that's gonna be possible on this thing, honestly. But it might be something cool to do with during the, during the winter time. This might not be something that you see right away, but I might fiddle around with it in the winter. <laughs> oh, I'm losing body pins left and right. Oh, the body's cracked. Oh, body's done. Ah, I did it. I got a backflip out of it. <laughs> Body is shot. It's handling it pretty good, though. Body's not. So something's going on keeps turning this ESC on and off here. And it turns off, so I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. Anybody got any suggestions on bodies for this thing too? Cause this one didn't last very long. Anyways, <laughs> 
this was a fun rip guys but anyways guys if you like this video give me a like give me a subscribe there's more of stuff like this to come other rcs to come and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace